In Nigeria's flood hit Madaguri, residents say some boat owners are taking advantage of this natural disaster to cash in. When floodwaters swept through the northeastern city last week, turning roads into rivers, canoe owners volunteered to move residents to safety. Vehicles remain unable to move in many parts, creating a reliance on boats. But some, like flood survivor Baba Ali Minor, said residents now face steep fares to move their belongings. You know the Nigerian factor now? We like taking advantage of people's situation. You understand? And some of them has been exploiting to that extent, but some will get it at a lower price, but they do collect money, honestly. Miner said he had wanted to move some electronics and cooking items this week, but he was shocked when the canoe owner charged him 70,000 naira, or about 43 US dollars, for a short trip. That's more than Nigeria's monthly minimum wage. Fisherman and canoe owner Mohammed Yusuf says he lost some of his canoes, nets and stored fish in the floods. He does still move people for free, he says, but adds that those who work with him will need to be paid. Not our child. Not we bomb them. They are boys. They are work together with us. We will come here purpose to help. If you give 100,000, the boys, they will share it and save their own family. The floods are the worst to hit Nigeria's Borno state in three decades. They were unleashed when a dam wall burst, following heavy rains that have also caused floods in several other parts of West and Central Africa. Authorities say about one million people have been affected, most of whom are housed in camps without food or clean water.